Medical marijuana is legal in Florida, but it does not come without a lot of confusion. Hannah McKenzie examines everything from plant growth to legal challenges and shows us the highs and the lows of the cannabis industry. The medical marijuana industry is blazing. But as we found out at the True Leaf Grow and Processing Facilities, navigating it can be intimidating. A nine pound and it's in the Indica subgroup. After exhausting all other options though, Holly Mosley didn't have a choice. I'm a parent of a child with epilepsy. Mosley's daughter Rayanne is the motivation behind the Compassionate Medical Cannabis Act passed in 2014. Every single step of the way it was worth it because um, Rayanne is now two years seizure free. She has come just almost completely come off her anti epileptic medications. Her implantable device is turned off. She's coming alive and doing things that we never thought would be possible for her. Helping to pave the way for medical marijuana in Florida, Mosley isn't done fighting. The most recent win, she says, is the passing of the federal farm bill in December, which legalizes hemp. Hooray, we're all excited. However, it's not quite legal yet. We still have to wait for each state to write its rules. And then they have to send those to the, to the federal government to be approved. It's the same legal process currently holding up edibles and other forms of medical cannabis from hitting dispensary shelves. A nurse, Mosley says anyone considering medical cannabis should consult a doctor for product and dosing recommendations. The hard part is finding a physician in, in the state to be able to help you. Dr. Michelle Beasley is one of about 2,000 physicians in Florida who can help. I probably see 80 patients a week. Ranked among the highest in the state for medical cannabis certifications, Beasley says a major bonus with this drug, it's customizable. Patients have choices. Do you do something that's mostly CBD, something that's mostly THC, or somewhere in between? CBD is typically recommended for patients suffering from seizures and inflammation, while THC, Beasley says, works best for someone with chronic pain or trouble eating and sleeping. There's over 500 chemicals in the plant cannabis, and so you vary those 500 chemicals and you get different results. Plant variation also comes into play. See the leaf structure is even different on it. Cultivation manager Kyle Landrum tells us there are two main types, indica and sativa. If you consume anything with a that's high in indica or is indica dominant, it's more of a sedative opposed to a sativa where it was more of an energetic feeling. But there are drawbacks to the industry as a whole, Beasley says, like patients not being able to travel with prescriptions, employers discriminating against medical cannabis users, and cost. The patients pay $75 a year for the card. My cost is $400 a year, you know, divided between the visits, um, and then $100, $150 a month for the medicine, so it adds up. On the higher end, that's a staggering $2,275 per year, not covered by insurance. <laughs> then there's availability restrictions, as dispensaries are limited to where they can open. This is a, about a 60,000 square foot warehouse. And the number of stores they're allowed per state. No other you know, free market does that happen. You know, If you wanna open a pizza place, if you open too many pizza places, they close because you don't have the business. Uh, but the medical marijuana stores are limited by statute by population. But stock to the ceiling with cannabis plants, they're still seeing plenty of green. Our goal is to, uh, to open a new building every 45 days. From cultivation to processing, then delivery, companies like TrueLeave are banking. One jar of this distillate oil is worth anywhere from fifty to $60,000. This over here are the orders that they're prepping for the stores. Enough product to stock the 24 TrueLeave dispensaries in Florida. All of this product right here is heading to Pensacola. It's valued to be around $100,000. $150 to $200,000, and this is just one out of the three shipments that TrueLeaf sends to Pensacola every week. It's supply. It looks kind of like peanut brittle. Driven oh, by demand. Different. Where is this industry looking a year from now? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> it's, um, there's no telling. Things just happen really quickly. Not quickly enough for Governor Ron DeSantis, who says after 71% of Floridians voted in favor of the medical marijuana amendment in 2016, action is long overdue. Whether they have to smoke it or not, who am I to judge that? I want people to be able to have their suffering relieved. And so uh, I don't think this law um, is up to snuff. Uh, we're currently in a number of cases. 
Um, I want to use that the fact that we are in this litigation as leverage to get to get better laws passed. The next step, changing the federal status of medical marijuana and public perception. If I would have known now what I wish I you know knew then, I would have done it all differently, and this would have been the first thing that we tried. Hannah McKenzie, Channel 3 News.